Hello, my legends. Today, I am unbagging and trying on the 2021 Liverpool Home Shirt. Hello, my legends, and welcome back to the channel. Last year, I filmed a video where I compared this Liverpool shirt to a fake one. 16,000 of you legends watch it, so thank you very much for that. This year, I'm doing it a bit different. I'm going to do the real shirt and the fake shirt in different videos. But when I obviously do the fake shirt video, I will compare the two. The reason I'm doing the real shirt first is because it came on the 1st of June. It's not supposed to be out until the 3rd. I have seen a lot of people get their pre-orders early, but I'm very excited my pre-order is coming early. Ordered it from Liverpool Direct. This one came from Sports Direct, and I got it about two weeks after release. I have ordered the fake off DH gate to do a comparison, but let's get the new one open and see what it's like. First time ordering from the Liverpool shop in a long time. So no fancy way to open the bag. I think we just gotta rip it. I don't wanna hurt the live bird. So you get a wash and care guide. It says wash your garment inside out. Do not tumble dry. Wash at 30 degrees for garments with personalization. And it says iron inside out. Doesn't say anything about fabric softener. Lots of people have said, don't use fabric softener on your football shirts. Don't know if that's true or not. Let me know what you guys think. Also says don't launder within 36 hours of purchase. Now I guess that's to let the print set. This shirt has cost me 89.99 because I got it personalized. I got a player name and number on it. But because I pre-ordered Liverpool, I'll give it out a £10 voucher right now. Don't know if the offer's still going, but that's the deal I've got. So I've got a £10 voucher for the Liverpool store to spend in future. So I've got a certificate of authenticity. It's got a print of all the players' signatures on. It says, thank you for your support. Very nice touch. And then there's the £10 voucher. I need to scratch it off to reveal the code so you guys can't steal it. But yeah, that's really nice, the little authenticity certificate. The player's signatures, that's a nice little thing, especially if you've got kids, they'll probably love to have that as a little poster with all the different players on. Should we see what shirt we got then? So this year's shirt, I have Firmino on the back. Can you guess who it is? It's wrong. I'm heartbroken. So, it's the LFC Fabinho print, but I've totally effed up. I've ordered it for Premier League patch. That's 90 quid wasted. That is a major fail. I really like the kit though, I like the colour. It's very similar, it's a little bit lighter than this year's. The orangey colour is actually quite red. I was very worried about that, but it's very red. I don't believe I've got LFC print with Fabinho's name and I've checked the packing slip and that is what I ordered. Surely it wouldn't let me put a Premier League badge with the LFC font. That is ridiculous. That's the most stupid thing I've ever done. Fuck. I've totally fucked that up. I'm probably the only person that's got that shirt in the world. But it's, I like it. It looks nice. I'm very disappointed with myself. It's got Expedia as the sponsor. This shirt, because it was early in the season, I don't have the Expedia one. It's an off-white, the writing. The Liverpool badge, is it off-white? I think it's to match the potential. Is it S-screw away shirt? I'm absolutely gutted that I've messed it up like that. Though. Why would I get the Liverpool font with a Premier League badge? That is so stupid. I paid 90 quid for that as well. 
Let's see what it looks like on. Right, I wear 3XL. I am 23 stone and 5'11. It's a little bit snugger than last year's. This is the stadium version, not the player version. It is a little bit smaller than last year's, but I quite like it. Here's a little comparison of the two shirts. But yeah, I'm going to speak to the customer service to see if there's anything they can do to help me out, whether they can return it and fix it. I don't reckon they can, because it's personalised. I can't believe I've got a Premier League badge, and then I've got the Champions League and the Cup numbers. I want Premier League numbers. I don't know how I've done that. I have no idea how I've done that. I'm really, really annoyed. But I love the kit. I'm going to give it just a 7 out of 10. It's a little bit smaller than last year's. It does fit okay. But I preferred how last year's did fit me. I like the colour, the slight off-white. I don't know how I like it on the standard chartered. The new T on standard chartered is a bit weird. That's a little change I've noticed. But yeah, it's a great shirt. Got like a weird cardboard tag system. Like a brown, like recycled sort of cardboard. But yeah, I like the shirt, but very disappointed with the personalisation I ordered. But I love Fabinho. I had to get Fabinho. I was, I wanted to do a little bit of hype about how Fabinho and Firmino are my favourite players, but he got killed because I noticed the Prem badge and the Liverpool font, and I was like, that's not what I ordered. I'm sure I ordered the Liverpool, the Premier League font, but my pace, my pay slip, my packing slip says it was the LFC font, so I'll have to chase the Liverpool customer service to see if they can sort it out. Fingers crossed. Thank you, Legends, for watching this today. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, do subscribe to the channel. I will be comparing this to a fake one, provided this doesn't go back before the fake one comes or anything crazy like that. But I should be comparing this, or if not this, it will be another shirt identical to this, to the fake Liverpool shirt that's coming from DHgate. Last year, 16,000 of you watched that. Thank you very much for supporting me. And... Let's keep it going, but I'm not keen on the neck. It's very low, but it's round. I'm not keen on that, but I like it. It's a good kit overall. Leave a comment down below who you got on the back of your shirt this year. Let me know, was it Fabinho? Was it Mane? Was it Salah? Virgil apparently was the top seller, which surprised me, because it's like the third year in a row that Virgil's been top. I don't know if it's because he's like the least letters and numbers, so he's the cheapest, because some places do it by the number of letters. The LFC website, it was £15, I think, for the personalisation. It was £5 for the Premier League badge, which ruined it. I paid an extra £5 to ruin my shirt. Great. All there is left to say is thank you all so much for watching. I've been Link. Thank you for being one of my legends. I'll see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, Go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never ever miss what is coming up real soon.